Hi guys! Today's video is all about first impressions of this foundation that I just got in the mail actually yesterday. Um, I ordered it last week and I was hoping that I could review it last week but it just came yesterday afternoon. So I'm gonna review this foundation and see. This is my very first time reviewing like making a video about first impression and I see let's see what we can come up with and I don't want to read what are the claims are and I guess most of you guys knows about it you know I don't want to make this video long so I just want to like test the product and see how it goes to my face and how I feel about it what are my thoughts and you know how long it will last in my face or if my face will build any oils throughout I would just test it for like six hours because I'm gonna go and shower and um, later in the afternoon. So I got the Milani Conceal Perfect Two in One Foundation Concealer, and I got the shade Sand Beige. So if you wanna know how would this foundation work on my face, just keep on watching. As a start, I will just prime my face with Max Fix Plus first, and like any other foundation, I need to prime my face first. Okay. Like any other foundation, I would do this. I would prime my face and then that's it. I would not color correct. Um, yeah. So, and I would use a sponge on the other side. Um, okay, let's do right side of my face here. I will do the sponge. And then on the left side, I would do the Real Techniques Expert uh, brush. I know that these two tools work on my face. Let's see how would the foundation would uh, do with these tools. Okay, for primer, I would use uh, uh, Dr. Brand Pores No More Pore Refiner Primer. This is just for here, outer face. Um, I normally do this, just the outer uh, of my face here. And then for the like large pores, the T-zone area, I would do uh, Pore Fashional. Okay, for your note, um, I have very, very dry um, patches right now. So I'm not sure how would this foundation would work on my face so this is the foundation looks like and when you open it you get a pump this is my first time opening it so it has a pump which is really nice and then I'll just make a oh, see mm -mm -mm -mm. <laughs> how many times would I have to do that okay just one pump let's see how would this work and let's start with a sponge I'm just gonna do my finger first because I don't like and then I'll just do like that here yeah. and then here yeah. okay Let's see yeah. I hope this would one works oh that looks so <laughs> I don't think this is the right shade for me Okay, let's see and then let's just dab the product in oh this is like double um, the Estee Lauder yeah oh yeah it like it's like the Estee Lauder feeling hmm like a Estee Lauder double wear and for reference I'm tawny in look at that it's so I don't know I think my monitor is doing crazy on my face like it's like oh it has a nice feel and it's very lightweight and it's matte um I would still say that this is like a medium coverage for me Ooh, it's a little bit too dark for my skin tone I can still see the redness on my face uh, peeking through and my words are still there you can see it from there yeah, this that's my natural words and the feeling 
it's not it's not sticky uh, it's matte and it's lightweight and we see the smell no smell at all and let's do the test with the other pump and then do the brush and see how this brush would do it oh nice oh now I can see that my dry patches are clinging to it is it? yeah it does cling to it now and I need more pump again <laughs> I think I have to be generous putting in the foundation. Huh? Just dabbing it in. Because I have very large pores and I can't really. <laughs> right off the bat. I really like the feeling of it though. It's not heavy, it's lightweight. And it doesn't have any smell. And it blends easily. Oh, I like this one. Yay! Okay, let's add more in here because this is my areas that I have like brown spots. Okay, let's try that. And two more. Let's do the neck. And I quit brushing here. Okay. With the brush, it has more coverage. With a sponge, because it it absorbs the product, um, I can still see the redness in here. So I'm gonna add more. Let's do another second pump and build on the other side of the face. I need like full coverage. Oh, it's so nice on the skin. In the background is my baby. <laughs> and I'll just do a brush on this one here too. It has a nice feel. It's matte. Um, it's not powder though, but it's just matte. Um, it sets so nicely on the on my face and I really like the way how it It feels on my skin. I have dry patches and it doesn't really cling to it though I already put some second layer of or second coat of foundation And it's nice. So let's see so To even out my A little bit pink in the side Something Okay, so I will finish my makeup. Okay, so uh, what I use for my concealer, I use a MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in W25 together with Maybelline Fit Me uh, Concealer in Sand on top, just a tiny bit. And then I set it with a Stay Matte um, Powder from Rimmel. And then for the uh, to set up the face, I use Mac Studio Fix Powder Foundation in NC40. And for my uh, bronzer, I use Nars Laguna. This is Nars Laguna. And for my blush, I use NYX Pinky. And for my highlight, I use Mary Luminizer. For my brows, I use uh, L'Oreal's Brow Stylist Definer in Dark Brunette. Together with browsings, of course, this um, the shadow first, and then the um, the wax over it. And I didn't put any any gel on it. I just brush it off with a spoolie. Let's see for my eyeshadow. This is like um go-to eyeshadow. Um, mostly you can see so this, and I use the Morphe 35F shadow if you wanna know how I got this um, eye makeup you just let me know in the description down below or make a comment and I will 
make a tutorial and uh, all the eyeshadows are just coming from the Morphe palette and I didn't wear any falsies because it's too heavy for my eyes right now so nothing in there oh, for my eyeliner I used the Revlon Color Stay a liquid liner for the waterline I use Urban Decay 24-7 uh, Glide On Eye Pencil in zero okay and for my lip also got this in the mail so yeah it's the Milani I'm in a more matte lip cream which is really really nice I'm in the shade loved number number 12 okay so my thoughts on the foundation though I can see a cakiness in here in this area which I think I use a lot of uh, profiler in here so it clings to it but it's not really too visible and it covers all my redness and blemishes and it's really nice on my skin so I would say this foundation is a go for me and time check right now it is 1.38 in the afternoon I think with all my makeup stuff um, this foundation already on my face for 30 minutes and I didn't see any oil build up on my face so I really like it and then I was just gonna set it with a setting spray which I have not set yet for 30 minutes with no setting powder and no oil build up it holds pretty pretty good and I'm gonna use this mix matte and then let's set it Let's cross fingers that this would work with my oily combination skin. And let's do flash photography, right? That's nice. It's pretty good. No white cast on my face, which is good. Yay! Time check right now. It's um, 4.21 so basically this foundation already on my face for I would say um, 3 hours for my thoughts on this foundation I didn't have any oil build up which is good because it says medium to full coverage yes it is and I just didn't build up so much foundation on my face because I had so many dry patches and knowing on my skin if I add more then I would have cake, cake face so and and it says lightweight yes it is lightweight and it says oil free formula which is a good plus yay because oily skin oil and oil products mm -mm. <laughs> Not good right long wearing I said this is three hours for my oily skin I would say yes <laughs> and water resistant sweet proof um, I just wash dishes and I did a little bit of laundry and I didn't really sweat at all and it's plus it's cold today so I don't know and this retails for $9.99 which is cheap for a drugstore and the formulation of this product is like high-end <laughs> which is good right and no smell no fragrance yes and then for the finish it's matte finish um, yeah it's uh, oh, it's not dewy it's matte it's matte and does it hydrate for dry skin no um, yeah it's just matte mattifying but it doesn't cling to the dry patches that bad not like any other foundation that I wore um, yes this is a very very nice foundation and I really recommend this for an oily combo skin yay thank you Milani and one more thing um, on my nose area it rubs off because I keep on doing that because I have congestion and I keep on rubbing off my nose so the foundation wore off in this area but if I put I think if I put some foundation let's gonna do try it it's if it's buildable or if it does work you know see
it really builds up so nicely okay so I guess this is my thoughts for the product and um, I'm not sure if I can still wear this for long um, for today but um, for the rest of the day I'm just gonna be plugging and for the uh, final update this is my final update the Milani foundation the Milani conceal perfect two-in-one foundation plus concealer is a go for me yay okay thank you so much for watching this video and if you want to see more of a maybe foundation review because I think with my skin with problematic skin and acne prone and the blemishes I have and then the scars that I have uh, I think the foundation a review or impression would really be a helpful to my site because I know there are many people who have suffered for acne and blemishes and hyperpigmentation which I have and redness on the face so I guess from starting from now on maybe I would um, do like a segment for foundation and impression review so I guess this is it thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed already and give me a comments down below I want to hear from you on what your thoughts are or any feedback about anything I want to know and I will I want to learn and I want to step up my game okay so I'll see you in my next video bye